Day 21! We made it! Woo! I can't believe it! 21 days live every day in our 21 day delightful detox. Thank you for joining us. I have my partner in crime here today. Hi, everybody. My son, Nathan. You're the best. I love you so much. This is the, this is the first time I've ever been on a Facebook Live, I think. Are you serious? You mm -hmm. haven't been on with me before. The only other video was the juicing video. That was it. And that wasn't live. No, that was two years ago. Three, three years ago almost. Oh, you were in the diabetes video too, at the end of the diabetes video. Oh, that I was a lie. Yeah. I think we need to get Nathan on live more. <laughs> what do you guys think? So, thank you all. We are celebrating today. I can't believe we made it through 21 days. What do you think about this experience? When you said that you wanted to do a 21 day thing, one, I had no idea that you wanted to do 21 days in a row, and I had no idea that we were going to start filming the very next day and do it for what three weeks and uh and no pauses so it was fun it was fun we made some mistakes along the way i did no we he's both impeccable did. we both did but that's okay with doing 21 days straight when your son is in college and an internship and works for me it wasn't always possible for you to be behind the camera when I was recording. Well, yeah, and the first, the, I mean, the first couple of days that we started doing this, we did it at what, like 7.45 in the morning or before 8 in the morning before I went to school. That was a little bit early, you know, to get up and get set up and everything, but it was fun. It was fun. We made it work. And you never complained. Nathan never <laughs> complains. You always just, okay, mom, what do we need to do? Let's do it. And when we realized we couldn't keep having him available when I had to record, it meant that mom had to learn how to set up the lighting and the microphone and the cameras. And that's when all the mistakes started to happen. I mean, it's a, it's a lot to, it's a lot to go through. Even I can make mistakes setting all this stuff up. And that's the, uh, that's the only job I have. You still have to come up with all the content and worry about getting ready and getting in front of the camera. I had to write my script, mm -hmm. summarize my script in notes. Yep. Get ready, hair and makeup and clothing and all that, which I dread to do. That <laughs> I had to wear makeup for 21 days for you all, and starting tomorrow, I'm not wearing any more <laughs> makeup for 21 days. That's my makeup detox. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> then I, then I, Good idea. Then I had to learn how to set up, and I'll never forget one day. You were at school. I'm trying to remember, and also we try to turn off things in the house that might make a noise. And I got everything set up. One of the things that we do take care of to make sure they don't make noise are our two dogs. And I remember that I had everything set up, ready to go, and I had to get the two dogs in the basement so they wouldn't interrupt me during my recording. And I was opening the basement door to get them downstairs and they knocked over one of the, though the microphone, got oh, knocked no. over, and when I went to grab the microphone, it pulled the cord that the big professional camera was on, and I yes. turned around just in time to catch the camera <laughs> from hitting on the floor. So anyway, it's been interesting, and yeah. then sometimes I would have oh, the Facebook man. Live going, and I for would forget to press the button to record on the main camera, which we're recording for our official course that is available on our website at sonaview.com. Mm -hmm. And then the one video, I don't know what I was thinking, that I would start on the trampoline when I was talking about lymphatic mm -hmm. destagnation to jump on a trampoline and I had to go out and it was actually snowing. I had to <laughs> shovel snow off the trampoline and I set up the camera and the iPhone for the Facebook Live mm -hmm. and get myself all situated and I totally forgot to hook up the microphone. There are a lot of steps in getting <laughs> all this orchestrated. I'll tell you what, there's a lot on of steps. On top of all this content. Yeah. And one absolutely. thing that made me feel good when you said to me the other day that, Mom, I can't believe you have 21 days of meaningful information to share with our followers mm -hmm. and the attendees of this course. And I do. And this is why this is not just a detox program. Mm -hmm. I've taught you in this program how to get on a better path to better living, mind and body. Yeah. This is unlike any detox program ever you will ever see anywhere. This is a gem of a program. Yeah. And I think because we decided, I was inspired, we got mm -hmm. to do this. And it forced me into a mode of how do I put toge 
together 21 days of meaningful information and what the order should be so that it made sense for everyone. Yeah. What this has done, I think for both of us possibly, is we've gained so much confidence going forward. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it, I remember a number of years ago, whenever we first started doing these videos, I mean, it was a good hour and a half, two hours of setup time and and all kinds of stuff to get this uh, get this stuff rolling. But I mean, now it's, I mean, it takes us no time at all. And we were able to put out 21 consecutive videos, which is, which is pretty great. And I mean, congratulations to you for getting that all put together and congratulations to everybody for sticking through to the, you know, the 21st day here. I mean, that's, that's awesome. That's it is awesome. awesome. Thank you. You were so kind to say the reason why it used to take us two hours is because I used to keep making mistakes and I'd be like, cut, cut. I don't know what oh, I'm saying. No, no, no. I'm not talking recording time. I mean, me just setting up all the lights yeah. and the microphone and everything. I, know, I, I was mean, mentioning. So to yeah, celebrate, so which we are going to give you a, more information today, so bear with us about living a more passionate life, but this is part of it. Celebrating is part of living a passionate life, which is going to be our next official course, which we are developing for you, but you get a taste of it today. And a taste of living a passionate life are the foods that you get to taste. Mm -hmm. So we have here beautifully fresh pressed blueberry pomegranate juice. And instead of alcohol, um, sulfite, preservative laden wine, <laughs> we're starting with pomegranate blueberry juice organic. Yay, yeah, nice. congratulations. <laughs> and our beautiful silly little old glasses, but they're beautiful <laughs> nonetheless. Congratulations to my partner in crime, my son, who I love so much. That's good, that's really and good. And then I made a wonderful avocado chocolate mousse. If that sounds strange to you, you have to try my chocolate mousse. It's very healthy for you and decadent and creamy and that's the base of it is avocados, if that concerns you. And I topped it with some frozen big cherries, organic, to um, enjoy a little taste of that. Oh my, I can't, can't celebrate without something chocolate, mm. which also we'll talk about because in our passion program, because cocoa is amazing for boosting your mood and emotions. It has phenylethylalanine. It also increases blood flow and it's a natural aphrodisiac. We are gonna learn how to live a passionate life and I'm gonna teach you some of that today. What I wanna do is review our 21 days that we've done with you and then teach you the topic of the 21st day and share with you what some people have shared with us about this program so far, which we love. So what we've talked about here in 21 days is stop feeding your mind and body toxic things, right? Stop feeding your mind negativity from your the own news. thinking, <laughs> the news. The news, yeah. Yeah, so we've detoxed from the news. Right. <laughs> we did a fasting, I call it. Yeah, smart. <laughs> fasting from the dramatized negativity from TV mm -hmm. and so forth and stop feeding your body things that are toxic, both through your mouth and on your skin too. Mm -hmm. Nathan, by the way, so you know, he's 20 years old and you've been watching, you watched me while you were growing up and then one day you just said to me, Absolutely. you're 15. You're like, mom, I'm getting on the healthy path and he's been eating healthy, mostly vegetarian and- Pretty much, I mean, pretty much 100% vegetarian whenever it's up to me to choose whatever mm -hmm. I'm eating. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. And lean toward vegan when it makes sense. And mm -hmm. you, you even dabbled in raw. He ate a raw lunch with me today, which were the raw noodles. It was great. Rules. Yeah, it was fun. great. And juicing. You're really big into the green vegetable juicing and the oh, smoothies. Yeah. I could not go without the juicing. That's that's a big part of the stuff that I like. It's key. Yeah. And what I love too is he really pays attention to reading ingredient labels. We were talking about the granola this morning. And also, <laughs> he also has moved to natural body care. Yeah, product. yeah, your toothpaste, 100%. your shaving cream, mm -hmm. your soaps, your shampoos. I feel Just... better. No, I I don't mean to interrupt, but no, like please. I I feel better whenever I use more natural products. I mean, I used to use chemical laden products and. Every time I would get out of the shower, my skin just felt extremely dry and, and I wasn't comfortable. And I, and I felt like I smelled like chemicals too, but after switching to all natural personal care products, I mean, it's, it's a big difference. Didn't your hands used to crack and bleed too? Yeah, like my, hands have been, my hands have been great. I wonder if that had something to do with the antibacterial soaps at school and things like that. Probably. Just so damaging and very harmful yeah, for not probably. only your body, but the env environment. We taught you to get on a healthy routine. 
getting doing positive things before you go to bed at night, mm -hmm. having more gratitude. And we had a real talk about gratitude this morning. Yep. Or we were having lunch preparing for this. If we have time, we can talk about that. I think we share should. that right now. Right now. All right. What you just witnessed. Yeah, absolutely. So I was at uh, I was at my college campus and I was having lunch with my friend and it's something that I do pretty much every day while I'm there. And I uh, I was sitting and I was looking out of the restaurant window towards the street. And it was, I mean, it was cold that day. It was 10 or 15 degrees outside, but I was very warm and comfortable inside eating my great big lunch. And there was a garbage can outside with a man standing next to it. And he was very clearly a homeless man. And he reached into the garbage, took a drink of a, you know, half gone cup of coffee, and then reached in and grabbed a pizza box and had a piece of pizza out of the garbage. And it really hit me that everything that I do every day, I mean, having lunch every day has just gone completely over my head. And so it made me really realize, you know, maybe there's an opportunity for a lot of us to do a little bit more with the resources that we have available to us to help the people who, you know, can't even do something as simple as eating a meal, which is something that I know that I do every day and I kind of was taking it for granted, you know? That is so meaningful and so profound. I told him today that there was a reason why that man reached into the garbage can right in front of you. And you know what I just decided in this conversation right now? We do have a 5013C organization. I think we're gonna donate a portion of the proceeds from this course. Yeah, that'd be to great. To feeding the hungry or the homeless or whatever you yeah. decide, okay? Because Wonderful. just having gratitude for even the simplest things mm -hmm that we have in our lives and that we take for granted is so important. That's just such a beautiful story. And Nathan, it's just a testament to what you have become as a young man. Thank you, I appreciate Other that. Other people may look at that person and say, oh, what a bum. Mm -hmm. You looked at that person and felt sad. You felt compassion, which we've spoken about in this program. Nobody knows what that person had gone through to get to that point. I know that there are a lot of people that would look at them and say, you know, they're lazy, they can go get a job, something like that. And, you know, maybe 5% of the time that's true, but none of us truly know unless we know that person, you know? And so maybe give people the benefit of the doubt sometimes. I just spoke with a friend last evening that his daughter had gone through drug addiction. And we talked about how in some brain chemistry situations, as soon as you try a drug, mm -hmm. you actually have no control over it. Yeah. The dopamine release is such that you must have another one and another one. Mm -hmm. Many things that happen to someone like that are out of their control. Yeah. And luckily she decided one day to cold turkey stop. She yeah. allowed her body to detox, which isn't that an amazing topic for our program here. I mean, that must've been pretty hard if you were talking about going from, you know, hamburgers and quarter pounders with cheese to, to nothing and, you know, how hard that can be, you know? Yeah, true. <laughs> that's <laughs> that that's a detox extreme, from a drug. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> I think my detox from sugar, sugar's a drug. Yeah. They actually also, dairy has yeah. Uh, caseomorphine in it. Can you believe that? And the whole reason is because it's important for a baby mammal to be addicted to mother's right. milk. So that's all fascinating. Yeah, so that's why we is, get addicted. Yeah. I know, you know, people that can't give up their sugar, people that can't give up their cheese. Yeah. <laughs> can't give up my cheese. I know. But anyway, she, and here she is 26 years old now, and she just bought her first house. It's beautiful, and she's working full that? time. Yeah, so these are just all important things. So we're talking about get on a routine of being doing something positive before you go to bed, being grateful, showing gratitude, that's huge. Absolutely. Getting to bed early, get your rest, get up in the morning, start with your morning prayer, your meditation, think positive thoughts, your affirmations, begin mm -hmm. your morning detox with tongue scraping, skin brushing, drink your water, put apple cider vinegar, lemon in there, do your herbal teas, do green vegetable juice, we want to also uh, move your body, do some stretching, some deep breathing. You know, this is all part of your body detoxifying. So getting on a routine is something we talked about. We talked about meal ideas and we've encouraged you to get on a plant-based diet. We've taught you about 
plant proteins because everybody that gets on plant-based diet is always saying, where am I going to get my protein? Some of the best protein sources are available from plant foods. We've taught you about considering going high raw as part of living a healthy, vibrant life. You want to have energy. You want to have passion. You get on a high raw diet and that just means more fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. That's all that is. It's nothing unusual. It's the most traditional, original way of eating that humans know is to pick a pear or an apple off a tree and eat it, right? We had a raw, this is all raw here. And all of these meeting, these eating ideas, uh, you have encouragement in our book, Fabulous Recipes for Vibrant Health. Do not hesitate to get on our website and grab a copy of that book. There's a download version or a physical book or on, it's available on Amazon. We've also talked to you, once you get on this plant-based diet and you go high raw and you've been doing the fresh juicing for a couple weeks, consider a day of fasting. And we recommend juice fasting and doing other nutrient dense liquids as a day of fasting, not just water fasting, but consider as part of this program, fasting from caffeine, get yourself off caffeine for a few weeks, give your body a break so that it kind of resets everything and you can rebuild your adrenal glands. And that's what builds true long lasting energy, not just you're feeling exhausted, you're tired, you were up late, you got up early, you're stressed out, you grab that cup of coffee. That's just boosting you on toothpicks. It's not giving you a strong foundation. And we're giving you the most amazing foundation for a better life right here in this program. One thing that I've actually noticed and just a quick thought, when it comes to doing the juice fasting, um, and, and having some juices like while you're going through the fast and everything, a lot of health food like boutique sort of shops like juice places and stuff, they actually sell like pre-made kits now for that very thing. So they make it very simple. That's just what I wanted to add. Juice cleanses and things, yes. Mm -hmm. And they often include some coconut water, some nut milks mm -hmm. with the green juice and um, some really cleansing, tonifying type Point being, it's not a scary thing. Like it's a very common, easy thing to do. So don't worry about that. It's an excellent point, excellent. We've talked about moving your body to make sure that your lymphatic system, which is a key part of your detoxification mechanism in your body can get moving. You know, all the plant foods and the low stress are helping your liver, your kidneys, your spleen, your other detox organs, your skin, your lungs, your digestive system, all of that is being aided in this program, but you've got to move your body. And we've even recommended that you do something you really love to do. You don't have to suffer through, oh, I got to go to the gym and, or whatever you don't want to do. Just find something you love to do that moves your body and do something that feeds your soul. We're talking about feeding your mind positive things. We're talking about feeding your body positive things. How about what are you doing to feed your soul? I love to listen to positive music and dance around. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing is in the evening, sit with my cup of tea and read a positive, inspiring book. Mm -hmm. Do you have things to feed your soul? Yeah, podcasts. I don't know if you guys listen to podcasts, but that is like my new favorite thing to do. Uh, I, I commute to school, so I've got 30 minute drive, 45 minute drive, you know, either way. And that gives me a lot of time to listen to some podcasts or some audio books or something like that. So that's, yeah, that's what I would recommend. Which has inspired us to start our Triumphant Life podcast, which we are in the process of doing, which yep. is incredible. That's what I love about working with Nathan. He's always bringing in new ideas. That should be fun. Oh yeah, I can't wait. It's yeah, going to be a blast. So we're going to bring in guests to interview and things like that. Yeah. We've also introduced you to ideas of supplements to help you on this detox program and to keep encouraging your body to clean out. We've talked to you about being mindful, which means being present in the moment and no longer regret the past and worry about the future. This is just an incredible way to live. It's a very rich and fulfilling way to live. Like I was in the moment tasting this blueberry pomegranate juice and savored that chocolate mousse with cherries mm -hmm. on top. And what passed through my mind, because I've been doing this, is where all of these things come from. Coming from the beautiful organic farmers that have created this amazing food and all of the people that got that food packaged, shipped, delivered, stocked in the grocery store that has made it so convenient for us to buy it. We've talked about being aware of your limiting beliefs and patterns and fears that hold you back. Mm -hmm. Again, this is a detox of your mind just as much as your body. Yeah. And there's a lot of toxic junk in there yeah, that absolutely. 
need to be cleaned out. And one of the deepest talks I felt I gave was on forgiveness and compassion. And that's something that, you know, I'm going through this with you. I'm dealing with these things as well. And it just so happens that I'm dealing with a very clear direction in my life that I need to learn about forgiveness. Yeah. And what we are doing here in all of this, eating healthy, getting rest, thinking healthy thoughts, moving your body, breathing fresh air, doing something you love every day, improving your beliefs and giving forgiveness to yourself and others and having compassion. All of this ultimately is raising your vibration. Mm -hmm. And this is the one of the key things that Nathan and I are always paying attention to. Where are we on that vibration scale? And we talk about, usually at least on a weekly basis, mm -hmm. what happened to us this week that was bringing us to a lower vibration and what we did to work on getting back up the scale. Awareness, awareness is key in all of this. I mean, you have to make sure that you're actively being mindful about how you're acting, how others are acting. And I mean, yeah, being able to talk to somebody about it and be reminded about it is very helpful too, so. We always look forward to each week. It's like, oh, we get to talk. <laughs> we get to like catch up. And we, if a week goes by that we didn't get to, we like miss it, don't it we? It feels weird, yeah, it feels weird. It's like, weird. oh, we didn't get to talk about all of this. We're busy, but we make it work, so. Isn't he awesome? <laughs> I tell you, he's just gonna be, you're just gonna be, a rock star in life. You have so many people to help with your positive energy and your great brilliance. And he's a brilliant marketer too. We're uncovering that as well. So we're raising your vibration. And let me just share with you what some of the people have been writing. Just a few on our uh, Janet McKee fan, public figure Facebook page, Zaneda from the Philippines. I'm learning many things in life because of you. Thank you, Janet. Like, what are the chances that some woman in the Philippines, I'm aff affecting her life mm -hmm. in a positive way? Like, oh my goodness, that just stunned me. And that's one of the benefits we're getting today from being able to do videos, being on Facebook Live like this. Yeah. It's just incredible. I have from our really dear follower, Sherry, she wrote the other day, I. I I contributed one of her testimonials, but she wrote another one. This was from day 18. Day 18 of this delightful 21 day food detox is my favorite of the week so far. She posted this on her timeline, by the way, and shared it with all of her friends. Not just, she actually, I don't think she posted it on my Facebook page. I've been having such an amazing journey with Janet. With incorporating a plant-based diet into my daily routine, I'm trying to get my cholesterol and LDL levels down. And with this 21 day program, I am finding all kinds of new and delicious healthy meal ideas, substituting whole fruits and vegetables for meals with meat. And this is where to get the meal ideas. Follow Janet McKee on Facebook for an amazing healthy lifestyle switch or go to saunaview.com. She's putting this on her timeline <laughs> for more wonderful, healthy, satisfying ways to improve your life and your health. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Thank you, Janet. I'm sad these daily videos are coming to an end. Don't you worry, Sherry and others. We're going to keep coming on. Maybe not every single day because I need a break from wearing makeup. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna come on and start talking to you about living a more passionate life. That's our next course. And we're also yeah. gonna teach you more about raw foods. Florida Lisa, I have to mention, she was on live on Facebook the other day. And she's put, ha ha ha, she's laughing. She's like, you look amazing. Good job, Janet, for your graceful and interesting ability. I just woke up. She must be on a different time zone. <laughs> I just woke up and found your great videos. Thanks again, my friend. God be with you. Then she wrote, wow. After she, she watched the video, wow, that's amazing truth. Good morning, Janet. You're so simple and beautiful today. You are really a great help to those people having problems about their diets. Thank you for sharing your knowledge about all of this. I'm sure it's going to be a great help for us. I've learned a lot about what foods are good and bad to our, what foods are good and bad to our body. Thank you again for your efforts and time. You really look awesome and great. And I've watched your live videos. God bless you and thank you again. Have a grateful day. How do you like me? Have a grateful day. <laughs> that was nice. I get so many blessings from her and others. And you know, it's this point in my life where I need a lot of blessings. So I just yeah. want you to know how much I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You talk about it every day, every day. 
You're it's always really telling something. me everything that, you know, all the things that all you nice people are saying, so. It's just so incredible for yeah. me. So today, let me just leave you on day 21 with you are now ready to live a more passionate life. You've gone through this. You started to clean up and you might not be perfect yet. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect, but you started to clean up where, you know, get rid of where you're being exposed to toxic things, mm -hmm. both mind and body. And you began to make steps toward cleaning those out, getting rid of them, living a more healthy life in every aspect that's possible. So you are now ready to now open the doors to a life that is truly rich and fulfilling and that comes from being more passionate. People are afraid to be passionate. Mm -hmm. People are afraid to be themselves, to open up. And I notice this in my own life because of my own past heartbreaks and hurts. I find sometimes I have walls around me and I'm like yeah. afraid, I'm like, mm. And it's time that we all break those walls down and really look at life. Do not choose any longer a boring life. Yeah. You deserve better. A life of more vibrant colors. A life of more tastes and smells and textures and feelings. Just because we are doing this celebration program for you today, I purposely I said to Nathan, what should I wear? And we're talking about what, what our background was gonna be. I went into my closet and I picked this blouse that is very old, one of my all time favorite blouses that we got one year when we went on vacation to Ocean City, Maryland. How about at that? At one of those silly little beach shops. Yeah. So it means the world to me, this blouse. Then I pulled out of my jewelry box these earrings. Mm -hmm. These earrings I got one year when Nathan and I went to Hawaii. There was a little town at the base where we did the bike riding tour. I remember that store. And there was this adorable little store that actually brought things in from India. Yep. And these are my all time, one of my all time favorite earrings. I have several. Okay, and I think they go perfectly with this blouse. This is yep. my celebration outfit. And today I put on a bracelet that I got from my older sister, Beth, that every time I'm doing something important, which is every day, I put on that bracelet and I say to myself, this is true by the way, that I need Beth with me today. And especially she helps me during some of my most challenging things. And do you know what this bracelet says? There are words written all around it. Faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patient, kindness, and goodness. I'm wearing these words and then I had to put that on for our celebration today. So this is what I'm talking about. Awaken your senses to what is around you, right in front of you. Every little thing that you choose each moment of your day can be from a point of passion. No longer a life of dullness, boring, mm -hmm. and, and lack of fulfillment. Your mind and body are sacred. They are created by God. Actually, I created, I was part of creating this <laughs> body. The witch that came from God, trust me, <laughs> and the most amazing ways. It was the moment that this young man was born that I know you looked at me, I swear, and said hello there again. I mean, it was just a powerful moment. This is what we're talking about, your body. Like how precious, right? This body created by God. Don't you think that this young man deserves to put the best things into his body and on his body and in his mind and live the best, most incredible, passionate life? Okay. I wish I knew this, knew some of this when I was 20. I didn't learn this till I was in my thirties. And so just imagine where this young man is going in his life. I can't wait to see, <laughs> but you too, you are now, no matter where you are, no matter what age you are now ready to step forward into a more passionate life. And this will create just powerful breakthroughs for you. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah. 100%. That? I'm getting really passionate in my talk. <laughs> right now. We are going to end today with a poem that I uncovered when I was preparing for this talk today from my favorite poet, Rumi. Very romantic poet. A 
A strange passion is moving in my head. My heart has become a bird which searches in the sky. Every part of me goes in different directions. Is it really so that the one I love is everywhere? Thank you for joining us on this 21 day. <sighs> Delightful detox, a complete rejuvenation of your mind and body. It means the world to me that you've been with me through this and that you've joined our program. Please recommend this to others. This course is available at sonaview.com, our website. We are here. This is Son of You, yeah. Nathan and I. <laughs> to inspire and teach you to embrace a better life, to live a life that's happier, healthier, richer, more fulfilling. We love you. We want the best for you. And Nathan, I love you so much. And it means the world to me that you're part of this organization <laughs> and sharing with the world. Thank Absolutely. you for joining me today. Absolutely. We really care about everybody watching these videos. And if you ever need anything, you know, we're always here. If you ever get an email from tech support, that's me. So now you can put a face to that email. So, you know, we're always here to help out. Thank you for joining us and good luck with the program. I love you and let me know how you do with it. Take care.